Yeah. There it is. So what are we talking about today, Ben? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on the phone with 1997. I'll be back with you in just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> if that what is sums that? it up. Uh, well, I'm sure you remember the you know golden age of phones. I'm talking about like the mid 90s to mid 2000s, where you had the flip phones and everything else. Um, you had the two main contenders, Nokia for the regular phones and Motorola for uh, the flip phones. But then they kind of disappeared with the smartphones. Well, they're starting to make a comeback, you know, with the the flexible phones. But some companies are still making uh, more traditional flip phones, and you know, Cat, right? The brand from Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Yes. Yes. They make, as you can imagine, they make heavy machinery. They also make some pretty heavy-duty phones. And this is one that literally, I think, just came out this week. And it's called uh, the Cat S22 Flip. And it's it, it's basically meant to go back to basics. It's supposed to be primarily a phone to make oh. calls and to elicit no. text. Honest? Yeah, I know. A phone? It's weird makes calls <laughs> you know this is a good product you know we get a lot of calls on this from time to time people who are like hard on their phones or maybe they do work in construction and they're looking for a really durable phone because you know if you spend well a thousand dollars on a phone and you break it because you drop it all the time it's nightmares right and that's exactly what this is made for i mean the, the whole idea it's marketed towards those who work construction or you know other type of industrial work first responders drivers farmers uh, anyone who has a job where you know they or their devices are at risk of damage every day um but you know this one isn't ex aside from being rugged it's got like you know a case that's been drop tested six feet onto steel it's uh, IP68 rating, so dust, dirt, water, all that. But it's not just your normal flip phone. It's got Android built in also, oh. a light version. It's called the Go Edition. So you can use the big keys or you can actually use the touch screen and download apps and things like that on it. Um, texting on this thing, you don't have to use the T9, you know, where you have to punch like nine, three times to get the Y. You can <laughs> use the touch screen for it, but you have to be very precise in the letters you're, you know, you're going for. Okay, um, so wait, so, you know, this is going to sound very, I'm in very general terms. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. So the texting is on the screen, but you say you have to be careful. So, yeah, you know, if you're, so, so if you're a guy with big hands, is this a problem? Could be. Could be, I mean, unless you want to use the T9. You can text either way. But if you want to use the screen, um, it's, it, you know, like I said, you, you can't be moving. You can't, definitely can't be wearing gloves. But, uh, yes, it would be a um, – in that case, if you have big hands and you're just going to have to peck out those numbers on the, <laughs> on, the, on the big keys. But this is how – if you want to see, this is how it compares my iPhone 13 Pro Max and this flip phone. Wow. So enclosed – it's even got a little display on the outside. It's about as heavy. It's a little lighter, but pretty heavy for a flip phone. God, you know what? It does look like 1997, but it does. <laughs> Something funny, though. It's It's got an FM radio built into it. It has an FM radio? <laughs> yeah, oh not, not an app or anything, but an actual FM radio. So you can you can plug in. It's got a little USB-C adapter, so you can plug in an 8-inch adapter. And so you can just, like, scan for channels. And I did it up here. And I'm on the outskirts of Phoenix, so I, I don't get, like, perfect reception from the Phoenix stations. But uh, I was able to scan and get, you know, usable reception from, like, two or three radio stations. So yeah. it's, That is so it's, funny. <laughs> that is just – yeah. 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 And so it's – so. and how much is this phone? This phone is only $234. Okay. However, something to keep in mind, it is a T-Mobile exclusive. Won't work on other carriers. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. So, so that's good for us. I mean, T-Mobile is a great sponsor of the show. Yes. We love that. Exactly. So, and it's, like I said, just came out. It is a steal at that price, but you do have to check the boxes. You want the durable phone that can survive all this stuff, but you also want just a phone that's mainly, you know, that's first just a phone and secondly, the other stuff. Um, but 12 hour talk time, it says 13 day standby, even not using it, it would get about a week for me before it would just the battery would die but that's still you know that kind of standby life is crazy for any of it today's is. phones so is it worth the money if you check the boxes yes absolutely it what it is designed to do it succeeds 
phone phone quality is good. Speakerphone, you can still Bluetooth it to other headsets. The FM radio is just kind of a neat little novelty. So, and uh, you know, I haven't dropped it off any steel beams or tried to submerge it into you know corrosive chemicals. But uh, you know, on paper, that's what it's supposed. <laughs> hey, to you know be. what though? It's a great phone. I mean, if if mm-hmm. you're hard on phones and if you're a construction guy or gal. And, you know, you're working outside and, and a farmer, whatever it may be, is that, you know, for 250 bucks, you get a great plan with T-Mobile and you have a great phone. And if you drop it and you put acid on it, it's going to be okay. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. All right. So you're going to write up the full review over on the website? Yep. Yeah, just about done with it. All right. So Ben is our trusty news director and our, and our uh, excellent tech guy of the week and geek of the week. And so, Ben, thanks for joining us. And uh, go review a new battery. It's been a while. <laughs> a week. Okay. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> All right. Thanks.